Hey guys, this is Left Turn. Today I'm going to talk about these two brushes from ZY Tang. They are the travel brushes, but they are really, really useful. Um, it's like if you travel out, maybe you will only need to use these two brushes if you're not doing a very big painting. I'm going to show you some of the artwork that I paint with the brushes. This is one of them. And even the tiny details like this, this is a negative painting, but I'm using the brush to uh, paint all the tiny details around it. So you can see that this brush is very, very useful for uh, detailed painting. And then um, this as well, like all the thin lines and the large uh, space, I use the mop brush. So there are two brushes over here that I'm going to show you now when I open it. This is size 1, which is a very tiny detailed brush, if you can see over here. So the bristles are very sharp. I can paint a very very detailed paintings with this. For example, I'm going to draw some fine line for you to see. First, I'm going to press the brush to show you the most thickness of the brush. And then now, I'm going to do a very, very thin one. See, so the line is very fine. And then I'm going to show you the other brush. This one, this is a, um, a natural hair brush which is made of squirrel. This is 100% squirrel and uh, this is 100% synthetic. So um, if, and the, if you touch, you see the synthetic is very springy. The squirrel is slightly not as springy as this but still springy. See that? Now I'm going to use this and uh, show it to you. Not enough paint. So this is the thickness of the paint and now I'm going to create a very thin line. As you can see, this brush is harder to control to draw a thin line because it is very soft, but it is very good to paint like, you know, wider space like this. But for the, for this synthetic brush, if you paint it like that, it is still possible, but you will tend to get a sharper edge lines than, um, then this one, then the 100% uh, squirrel. Okay, next I'm going to um, show you how I paint a very quick portrait of a clown using these two brushes. Alright, so let's get started.